today we're going to make a model of the different phases of the moon. The sun's light reflects off the moon, and in different positions, the moon appears differently from that reflected light. So all you need to do this is a circular pattern around the earth, a knife, and some Oreos. I got double stuff. It seems to work better because there's more frosting in the middle. So the first one we're going to make is the new moon. That is just a black circle. So I cut an Oreo in half and I used the top half for the new moon. Save the other half for the frosting. Then the next one is the waxing crescent. So we cut another Oreo. And we have to make a crescent with the light on that side. Have the waxing crescent moon. Next we have the first quarter. And that's kind of like a half of a moon. Looks like half of a quarter. The light is on this side for that one, the first quarter. On the right side. The next one we have is the waxing gibbous. And that's three-fourths of a moon's light, about. Like a little bit of a crescent cut out. The waxing gifts. Very messy. Our next one is the full moon. Then you get the, all the light. Like that. Next we have what is called the waning crescent. mostly on the right side. Just a little crescent cut out of the right side. And then it's, when you're all done, you get to eat all these cookies. Like that, the waxing present. Then there, of course there is the last quarter. That is a half moon on the left side. Looks like a half moon. They call it a quarter. Last quarter of the cycle. Right down the middle. That's the last quarter. And only one left, that is the waning crescent. So the light is on the left side, a little crescent of light on the left side. Like that. That's our model of the phases of the moon.